Hey everybody, Fetty here. You know, I've always kind of hated how in a traditionally plumbed house, you don't have a whole lot of control over your water supply. Think about it. If you need to replace a valve at a kitchen sink, or if you spring a leak and need to make that repair and sweat a pipe, or if you want to put a toilet in your basement, in order to accomplish that, you're going to have to shut down the water supply to the entire house. So when I plumbed this house, I wanted to have a little more control over my water supply. And the way that I accomplish that is by using a device called a manifold, this thing right here. Now, before I talk too much about what a manifold is and how it works and what it does, let me start by saying that when I plumbed the house, I used PEX. Now, I know that there are PEX haters out there, but there's also copper and PVC haters too. The reality is, is PEX is cheap, it's easy to work with, it doesn't require a whole lot of labor, and it will outlast me. So I chose to use PEX. Now what happens is my water comes in right here from the well and this entire manifold is charged with water. On the cold side here, it, it's sent out to the water heater and it returns back on the hot water side. From there what happens is each fixture has its own independent water supply, its own like a sink or a shower has its own hot and cold, a toilet has just a cold, a hose bib, just a cold. Each fixture has its own independent water supply. And what I really like about it is I can come in here with this little key, this little tool right here, and I can shut down the water to any of those fixtures. Another great application or example is right now, it's starting to get cold here. It's gonna be down in the 30s this week. So instead of worrying about my hose bibs freezing up, what I can do is come right here and I just shut the water off to the hose bib and I can go out there and drain it and not have to worry about it freezing up. So I really like that. That's a really cool feature of using a manifold. Now the particular manifold that I'm using is made by a manufacturer called Viega or Vega, V-I-E-G-A. And this is a mana block, so the Viega mana block. When you buy the uh, manifold, it comes obviously with the manifold, but it also comes with the fittings that'll be required to make your hookups. You'll have to buy any additional fittings to bring your water in, like I'm using some shark bites right here making these turns. You're gonna have to have where you can, you know, turn it and tighten it down on your, on your ports but everything that you need to send the water out is included in the kit. It's not real complicated. Now, before I go into how you hook all this up, if, you're, if you have a port that you're not using, you can buy blanks. That's a blank right there, so there's no way that the water is gonna start spewing out. It's just a blank and you screw it on and there it is. Now, when you go to make your fittings and hook everything up right here, what you have, you start with your piece of peck. So imagine, this, this line coming in right here. You have a little collar or a little sleeve right here, a little metal sleeve, and it goes down in your pegs like that. Then of course, here's the, you know, the screw on part, slip it over the pegs, and then there's a, a little collar right here, okay? And that collar goes over your pecs. And then at that point, you just screw it on. And I guess via compression, you know, it tightens it up and torques it down. Um, and it works. It doesn't leak. Now, another thing you might want to invest in is this little wrench right here. And what that does, is it allows you to get in here and tighten down your fittings. There's not a lot of room in there for you to get in there with a crescent wrench or anything like that. So this little wrench, it's worth, it's worth uh, making the investment in. So the question is always is how much is this gonna cost me? Well, I picked my manifold up for about $150, but I believe the price has gone up a little bit on them. I still think you can get one for right at or maybe even under $200 if you look around. Um, you're gonna have additional pecs. Uh, depending on the size of your house, 
Let's say you may have another $75 or $100 in pegs. Maybe less than that, maybe a little bit more. Uh, this tool, I think is $15, $20. You'll have some, some fittings you'll have to buy, you know, throw another 25, 30 bucks for some fittings. If you're doing it yourself, you don't need to worry about the labor, but even if you're hiring somebody to do it, the labor is not as much as if you were, you know, pulling copper and sweating joints and all that kind of stuff. I'll put a link in the description box of this video so you can click on it, maybe go read a little bit more about it and find out where you can find these products and tools and so on. So hope you enjoyed the video, maybe learn something. As always, if you like my videos, remember to give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.